class two it's just mrs lewis here and um, today we're going to talk about 2d shape now 2d stands for two-dimensional and when we talk about 2d shapes in class we talk about the, the shapes that are flat okay so today we're going to look at some regular 2d shapes and in year two you are asked to recognize and name the shapes and also to describe the properties of those shapes and we use the words sides and vertices to describe their properties. So we're going to have a little look at some together and then I'm going to ask you some little challenges to do. Okay, so this first one has two sides, one curved side and one straight side. It is a semicircle. This shape has three straight sides and three vertices. It is a triangle. This one has five straight sides and five vertices. It is a pentagon. Remember the vertices are the points at which the two straight sides meet. Okay. This one has four straight sides and four vertices. Two of the sides are long and two are short. This is a rectangle. This shape has six straight sides and six vertices. It is called a hexagon. This shape just has one curved side all the way around. It is called a circle. It has no vertices because it has no straight sides. This shape has eight straight sides and eight vertices. It is an octagon. And this shape has four straight sides and four vertices and remember with this one we say that the sides are all equal lengths equals means they are all the same length that is a square and the last one to look at is an oval which again has one curved side all the way around it has no vertices because it has no straight sides Okay, so now that we've looked at those, one of the things that you need to be able to do is to explain your reasoning. Now remember, when we talk about explaining our reasoning in class, we try and say, can we come up with more than one reason for something? So I'm going to show you something with some shapes on, and I'm going to ask you to have a think about which one you would say was the odd one out okay so you've got four shapes to look at and you might need to pause your video at this point so that you can really concentrate on the screen which shape is the odd one out and why can you use the word sides when you're given your reason can you use the word vertices when you're given your reason could you even give the name of the shapes when you're given your reasons Okay, and the second little challenge that I thought you might like to have a try of is if you had some shapes like this, I'm going to put four shapes down. Okay, hope you can still see them. And these were your four shapes. If I had to put these shapes in order from the smallest number of sides, to the largest number of sides, which shape would come third? So not first or second, but which one would come third? Think about that. And then can you think, where would a hexagon come in my line, in my line of shapes? Where would a hexagon come? Can you explain why you would put it where you would put it? Okay. So just to recap, we are looking at 2D shapes, we're recognising them and naming them, 
we're describing their properties using the words sides and vertices, okay? And I've given you two little challenges to try. And I'll see you again soon.